Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few problems on the topic compound interest involving both simple interest and compound interest. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. Questions are dealt with in this, in this video along with clear explanations to make you understand the concept clearly. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Compound interest questions based on simple interest and compound interest are of the following types. Type one. Questions where rate of interest and time are given for simple interest and at the same rate of interest and time compound interest has to be found out or vice versa that is rate of interest and time are given for uh, compound interest and at the same rate of interest and time simple interest has to be calculated. Type 2 Questions where simple interest or compound interest or both are given and rate of interest or time or both are different for simple interest and compound interest. Here simple interest or rate of interest or principal has to be found out. Observe that in type 1 the rate of interest and time are the same for simple interest and compound interest whereas in type 2 uh, rate of interest or time or both are different for simple interest and compound interest. Type 3 is miscellaneous problems. Let's solve a few problems of each type. The formula that has to be used to solve questions involving both simple interest and compound interest is SI divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus R. This formula is applicable only when time is 2 years. Let's solve a few problems of type 1 where the rate of interest and the time is the same for both the compound interest and simple interest. Compound interest on a sum of money for two years at 4% per annum is rupees 2448. What will the simple interest be for the same sum of money at the same rate of interest for two years? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now this problem can be solved using either the tree method or the formula method. Let's solve this problem uh, using the tree method first. So here it's given that compound interest is rupees 2448. Time is two years, rate of interest is 4%. And we're asked to find the, uh, we are asked to find the simple interest for the same sum of money at the same rate of interest for two years. Now here, Rate of interest is given as 4%. 4% is nothing but 4 by 100, which on simplification gives us 1 by 25. Here the denominator 25 is considered as the base. Time is given as 2 years and this 2 is considered as the power. So now we have 25 squared. 25 squared is nothing but 625. This 625 is the assumed principle for the tree method. Now since time is given as 2 years, the tree method has 2 branches. The first branch is for the first year, the second branch is for the second year. Now here rate of interest is 1 by 25. So the first year's rate of, uh, the first year's interest is 1 by 25 of the assumed principal. That is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625, which is 25. So the first year's interest is rupees 25. 
the second year's interest is 1 by 25 of the assumed principal that is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625 which is uh, nothing but 25 plus 1 by 25 of the first year's interest that is 1 by 25 multiplied by 25 which is 1 So the second year's interest is twenty-five plus one, which is twenty-six. So here we have first year's interest as twenty-five and second year's interest as twenty-six. So the compound interest for two years is twenty-five plus twenty-six, which is rupees fifty-one. Now here we have the first year's interest as rupees twenty-five. now for one year simple interest and compound interest is the same so now we have a simple interest for the first year as rupees 25 now since simple interest is the same for every year if simple interest for the first year is rupees 25 then simple interest for the second year would also be 25 so simple interest for two years is 25 plus 25 which is rupees 50 now here we are asked to find the simple interest so if compound interest is rupees 51 then simple interest is rupees 50 but here compound interest is given as rupees 2448 So, if compound interest is rupees two thousand four hundred and forty-eight, then simple interest is equal to two thousand four hundred and forty-eight multiplied by fifty divided by fifty-one, which is nothing but rupees two thousand four hundred. So, simple interest is rupees two thousand four hundred. Let's now solve this problem using the formula method. So, here it's given that. Compound interest is rupees two thousand four hundred and forty-eight. Rate of interest is four percent per annum, and we are asked to find the simple interest. So let's use the formula S I divided by C I is equal to two hundred divided by two hundred plus R. Substituting the values in the formula here, we get S I divided by two thousand four hundred and forty-eight is equal to two hundred divided by two hundred plus four. From this, we get SI is equal to two thousand four hundred and forty-eight multiplied by two hundred divided by two hundred and four. On solving this, we get a simple interest as rupees two thousand four hundred. So the correct answer is option D, rupees two thousand four hundred. If the compound interest on a sum for two years at twelve and a half percent per annum is rupees five hundred and ten, then What will the simple interest on the same sum at the same rate for the same period of time be? Here you are given four options, and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now this problem can be solved using either the tree method or the formula method. Now let's solve this problem using the tree method first. So it. Here it's given that compound interest is rupees five hundred and ten. Time is two years. Rate of interest is twelve and a half percent. And we are asked to find the simple interest on the same sum at the same rate of interest for the same period of time. Now here rate of interest is given as twelve and a half percent. Here two multiplied by twelve is twenty four plus one is twenty five. So now we have rate of interest as twenty-five by two percent. Twenty-five by two percent is nothing but twenty-five by two hundred, which on simplification gives us one by eight. Here the denominator eight is considered as the base. Time is given as two years. This two is considered as the power. So now we have eight squared. Eight squared is nothing but sixty-four. This sixty-four. is the assumed principle for the tree method now since time is given as 2 years there will be two branches in the tree method the first branch is for the first year the second branch is for the second year now here rate of interest is 1 by 
So first year's interest would be 1 by 8 of the assumed principal. That is 1 by 8 multiplied by 64, which is 8. So the first year's interest is 8. The second year's interest would be 1 by 8 of the assumed principal. That is 1 by 8 multiplied by 64, which is 8, plus 1 by 8 of the first year's interest. That is 1 by 8 multiplied by 8, which is 1. So the second year's interest would be 8 plus 1, which is 9. So here the first year's interest is 8, second year's interest is 9. So the compound interest for two years is 8 plus 9, which is rupees 17. Now for the first year, compound interest and simple interest would be the same. So here the first year's interest is 8. That is the simple interest for the first year is 8. Now we know that the, if the simple interest for the first year is 8, then the simple interest for the second year also would be 8 because simple interest is the same for every year. So simple interest for two years would be 8 plus 8 which is rupees 16. Now here we are asked to find the simple interest. So if compound interest is rupees 17, then simple interest is rupees 16. But compound interest is given as rupees 510. So if compound interest is rupees 510, then simple interest would be 510 multiplied by 16 divided by 17, which is nothing but 480. So simple interest is rupees 480. Now let's solve this problem using the formula method. So here it's given that compound interest is rupees 510 rate of interest is given as 12 and a half percent per annum and we are asked to find the simple interest so let's use the formula si divided by ci is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus r substituting the values in the formula here we get si divided by 510 is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus 25 by 2 12 and a half is nothing but 25 by 2. Now here 2 multiplied by 200 is 400 plus 25 is 425. So we have 425 divided by 2 in the denominator here. Now from this we get SI is equal to 510 multiplied by 200 multiplied by 2 divided by 425. On solving this, we get simple interest as rupees 480. So the correct answer is option D, rupees 480. The simple interest on a sum of money at 4% per annum for two years is rupees 80. What will the compound interest on the same sum for the same period be? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now this problem can be solved using either the tree method or the formula method. Let's solve this problem using the formula method first. So here it's given that the simple interest is rupees 80, time is 2 years, rate of interest is 4% and we are asked to find the compound interest. Now here rate of interest is given as 4%. 4% is nothing but 4 by 100, which on simplification gives us 1 by 25. Here the denominator 25 is considered as the base. Time is given as 2 years. This 2 is considered as the power. So now we have 25 squared. 25 squared is nothing but 625. This 625 is the assumed principle for the tree method. Here rate of interest is given as 1 by 25. Time is given as 2 years. Now since time is given as 2 years, there will be 2 branches in the tree method. The first branch is for the first year. The second branch is for the second year. Here rate is 1 by 25. So the first year's interest would be 1 by 25 of the assumed principle. That is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625, which is 25. So the first year's interest is rupees 25. 
The second year's interest would be 1 by 25 of the assumed principal, that is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625, which is 25, plus 1 by 25 of the first year's interest, that is 1 by 25 multiplied by 25, which is 1. So the second year's interest is 25 plus 1, which is rupees 26. So the first year's interest is rupees 25, second year's interest is rupees 26. So the compound interest for two years is 25 plus 26, which is rupees 51. Now here, the first year's interest is 25. Now for the first year, uh, compound interest and simple interest are the same. So here we have uh, the first year's interest as rupees 25, that is, the simple interest for the first year is also rupees 25. Now we know that the simple interest is the same for every year. So if the simple interest for the first year is rupees 25, then the simple interest for the second year would also be rupees 25. So simple interest for two years is 25 plus 25, which is rupees 50. Now here we are asked to find the compound interest. So if simple interest is rupees 50, then compound interest is rupees 51. But here, simple interest is given as rupees 80. So if simple interest is rupees 80, then compound interest is 80 multiplied by 51 divided by 50, which is nothing but 81.60. So compound interest is rupees 81.60. Let's now solve this problem using the formula method. So here it's given that the simple interest is rupees 80. Rate of interest is 4% per annum and we're asked to find the compound interest. So let's use the formula SI by CI is equal to 200 by 200 plus R. Substituting the values in the formula here, we get 80 divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus 4. From this, we get CI is equal to 80 multiplied by 204 divided by 200. On solving this, we get compound interest as rupees 81.60. So the correct answer is option A, rupees 81.60. On a certain sum of money, the simple interest for two years is rupees 350 at the rate of 4% per annum. If it was invested at compound interest at the same rate for the same duration as before, how much more interest would be earned? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here, uh, you are asked to find out the difference between the uh, compound interest and simple interest. Here simple interest is given, but we have to find out the compound interest. Now compound interest can be found out using either the tree method or the uh, formula method. So let's solve this problem using the tree method first. So here it's given that simple interest is equal to rupees 350. Time is two years, rate of interest is 4%. And we are asked to find the, and we have to find the compound interest. And then we are asked to find the difference between the compound and the simple interest. So here rate of interest is given as 4%. 4% is nothing but 4 by 100, which on simplification gives us 1 by 25. Here the denominator 25 is considered as the base. Time is given as 2 years. This 2 is considered as the power. So now we have 25 squared. 25 squared is nothing but 625. This 625 is the assumed principle for the tree method. Now here time is given as two years, which means there will be two branches in the tree method. The first branch is for the first year, the second branch is for the second year. Now rate of interest is 1 by 25. 
So the first year's interest would be 1 by 25 of the assumed principal. That is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625, which is 25. So the first year's interest is rupees 25. The second year's interest would be 1 by 25 of the assumed principal. That is 1 by 25 multiplied by 625, which is 25, plus 1 by 25 of the first year's interest. That is 1 by 25 multiplied by 25, which is 1. So the second year's interest would be 25 plus 1, which is 26. So the first year's interest is rupees 25. The second year's interest is rupees 26. So the compound interest for two years is 25 plus 26, which is rupees 51. Here, the first year's interest is rupees 25. Now for the first year, compound interest and simple interest are the same, which means here the compound, uh, which means here the simple interest for the first year is rupees 25. Now simple interest is the same for every year. So if the simple interest is rupees 25 for the first year, then the simple interest for the second year would also be rupees 25. So simple interest for two years is 25 plus 25, which is rupees 50. Now we have to find, uh, we are asked to find the compound interest. So if simple interest is rupees 50, then compound interest is rupees 51. If simple interest is rupees, here it's given that simple interest is rupees 350. So if simple interest is rupees 350, then compound interest is equal to 350 multiplied by 51 divided by 50, which on solving gives us 357. That is the compound interest is rupees 357. But here we are asked to find how much more interest would be earned. That is, we have to find the difference between the compound interest and simple interest. Now we have found out that the compound interest is rupees 357. Simple interest is given as rupees 350. So the difference is rupees 357 minus rupees 350, which is rupees 7. Now let's solve this problem using the formula method. So here it's given that simple interest is rupees 350 and rate of interest is 4%. Here we have to find the compound interest first and then find out the difference between the compound interest and simple interest. So let's find out compound interest using the formula. SI by CI is equal to 200 by 200 plus R. Substituting the values in this formula, we get 350 divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus 4. From this, we get CI is equal to 350 multiplied by 204 divided by 200. On solving this, we get the compound interest as rupees 357. Now we have to find the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest. Here we have found out the compound interest as rupees 357. Simple interest is given as rupees 350. So the required difference is rupees 357 minus rupees 350, which is rupees 7. So the correct answer is option D, rupees 7. Let's now solve a few problems of type 2 where the rate of interest or time or both are different. The compound interest on a certain sum of money at 5% per annum for two years is rupees 246. What is the simple interest on the same sum for three years at 6% per annum? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here, as you can see, the rate of interest is different for compound interest and simple interest. Also, time is different for compound interest and simple interest. Here, you are asked to find the simple interest on the same sum. Now, to find simple interest, you need to know the principal, the time and the rate of interest. 
but sin but here you do not know what is the principle so first let's find out the uh, principle using the tree method and then let's find out the compound interest so here it's given that compound interest is rupees 246 time is 2 years rate of interest is 5% Now, 5% is nothing but 5 by 100, which on simplification gives us 1 by 20. Now, the denominator 20 is considered as the base. Time is 2 years. This 2 is considered as the power. So, now we have 20 squared. 20 squared is nothing but 400. This 400 is the assumed principle for the tree method. Now here time is given as 2 years. So there will be 2 branches in the tree method. The first branch is for the first year. The second branch is for the second year. Here rate of interest is 1 by 20. So the first year's interest would be 1 by 20 of the assumed principle. That is 1 by 20 multiplied by 400 which is 20. So the first year's interest is 20. The second year's interest would be 1 by 20 of the uh, assumed principle. That is 1 by 20 multiplied by 400 which is 20 plus 1 by 20 of the first year's interest. That is 1 by 20 multiplied by 20 which is 1. So the second year's interest is 20 plus 1 which is 21. So here we have the first year's interest as rupees 20 second year's interest as rupees 21 so the compound interest for two years is 20 plus 21 which is rupees 41 so now first we have to find the sum so if compound interest is rupees 41 then sum is rupees 400 but here it's given that compound interest is rupees 246 so if compound interest is rupees 246 then the sum is 246 multiplied by 400 divided by 41 on solving this we get 2400 that is the sum is rupees 2400 which means the principal is rupees 2400 now we know that the principal is rupees 2400 and it's given that time is 3 years and rate of interest is 6 years and we have to find the simple interest. Now the formula to find simple interest is SI is equal to PRT divided by 100. Substituting the values in this formula we get SI is equal to 2400 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 100. On solving this we get simple interest is rupees 432. So the correct answer is option A, 432. Now, other than the uh, tree method, uh, this problem can also be solved using the formula method. Let's now solve this problem using the formula method. So here we are asked to find the simple interest on the same sum. Here we do not know what is the sum, that is the principle. So first let's find out the principle using the formula method. Then we can find out the simple interest. So here it's given that compound interest is rupees 246. Rate of interest is 5%. Time is 2 years. Since nothing is mentioned in the problem, we have to assume that the interest is compounded annually. Now, when interest is compounded annually, the formula to find amount is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N. So, we now know here that uh, R is 5 and N is 2. Substituting these in the formula here we get a is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus 5 by 100 raised to the power 2 
Now 5 by 100 is nothing but 1 by 20. 20 multiplied by 1 is 20 plus 1 is 21 by 20. So now here we have 21 by 20 raised to the power 2. So now we have A is equal to P multiplied by 21 by 20 multiplied by 21 by 20. On solving this, we get amount as 441P divided by 400. Now we know that compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. Here compound interest is given as rupees 246. So 246 is equal to 441P divided by 400 minus P. On solving this equation, we get P is equal to uh, rupees 2400. Now we know that principal is rupees 2400. Here time is given as 3 years and rate of interest is given as 6% per annum. And now we have to find the simple interest. Now simple interest can be found out using the formula simple interest is equal to PRT divided by 100. Substituting the values in this formula we get SI is equal to 2400 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 100. On solving this we get simple interest as rupees to 432. So the correct answer is option A 432. At a certain rate per annum, the simple interest on a sum of money for one year is rupees 260. And the compound interest on the same sum for two years is rupees 540.80. Find the rate of interest per annum. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now, as you can see here, the time for simple interest and the time for compound interest are different. Here you are asked to find the rate of interest per annum. Now we can solve this formula by two methods. So let's look at the first method. Now it's given that compound interest for two years is rupees 540.80. It's also given that simple interest for one year is rupees 260. Now since compound interest is given for two years, let's find out the simple interest also for two years. Now we know that the simple interest is the same for every year. So if simple interest for one year is rupees 260, then simple interest for two years would be uh, 260 plus 260, which is rupees 520. So simple interest for two years is rupees 520. Compound interest for two years is rupees 540.80. And we are asked to find the rate of interest per annum. Now we can find the rate of interest using the formula SI divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus R. Substituting the values in, these form, in this formula, we get 520 divided by 540.80 is equal to uh, 200 divided by 200 plus R. On solving this equation, we get R is equal to 8. That is the rate of interest is 8% per annum. Now let's solve this problem using the second method. Now here since compound interest is given for 2 years, let's make 2 columns for first year and second year. Now here simple interest is given as rupees 260 for one year. Now we know that simple interest, interest is the same for every year. So simple interest for the first year is rupees 260. Simple interest for the second year is also rupees 260. Now we know that for the first year, simple interest and compound interest are the same. So if simple interest for the first year is rupees 260, then compound interest for the first year is also rupees 260. Now it's given that compound interest for two years is rupees 540.80. We know that the compound interest for the first year is 260. So the compound interest for the second year is uh, 540.80 minus 260, 
which is 280.80. So the simple interest for the second year is 260. The compound interest for the second year is 280.80. The difference between these two is 280.80 minus 260, which is 20.80. Now this difference of rupees 20.80 is because while calculating the compound interest for the second year, we also calculate the uh, interest uh, for the first year's interest. So this difference of rupees 20.80 is the interest on rupees 260. Now here we are asked to calculate the rate of interest. We know that rate of interest is calculated for rupees 100. So if the uh, interest on rupees 260 is rupees 20.80, then the interest on rupees 100 would be 100 multiplied by 20.80 divided by 260. On solving this, we get uh, the rate of interest as 8% per annum. So the correct answer is option C, 8%. A certain sum of money earns Rs. 540 as simple interest in 3 years. If it earns a compound interest of Rs. 376.20 at the same rate of interest in 2 years, find the sum in rupees. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So as you can see here, the time for simple interest and time for compound interest are different. And here you are asked to find the sum in rupees. Now you can solve this method. Uh, you can solve this problem by two methods. Let's look at the first method. So it's given that compound interest for two years is rupees 376.20. It's also given that simple interest for three years is rupees 540. Now we know that simple interest is the same for uh, every year. So if simple interest for three years is rupees 540, then simple interest for two years would be 540 multiplied by two divided by three which is rupees 360. So simple interest for two years is rupees 360. Compound interest for two years is rupees 376.20. And we are asked to find the sum that is the principal. Now principal can be found out using the formula P is equal to 100 multiplied by SI divided by RT. Now we know that the simple interest for two years is uh, rupees 360. We know that time is two years, but we do not know the value of R. So first let's find out the value of R. Then we can easily calculate the principal. So let's find out R using the formula SI divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus R. Substituting the values in this formula here, we get 360 divided by 376.20 is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus R. On solving this equation, we get rate of interest as 9%. Now we know that time is 2 years and simple interest for 2 years is rupees 360 and rate of interest is 9%. Substituting all these values in the formula here, we get P is equal to 100 multiplied by 360 divided by 9 multiplied by 2. On solving this, we get the principal as rupees 2000. Now let's solve this problem by the second method. Now here, since compound interest is given for two years, let's make two columns for first year and second year. Now it's given that the simple interest for three years is rupees 540. We know that simple interest is the same for each year. So simple interest, if simple interest for three years is rupees 540, then the simple interest for each year would be 540 divided by three, which is 180. 
So the simple interest for the first year is 180. Simple interest for the second year is also 180. Now we know that for the first year, simple interest and compound interest would be the same. So if simple interest for the first year is 180, then the compound interest for the first year also would be 180. Now it's given that the compound interest for two years is rupees 376.20. So the compound interest for the second year would be 376.20 minus 180, which is 196.20. Now here we are asked to find the sum, that is the principal. Now we know that principal is equal to 100 multiplied by SI divided by RT. Now here we know that um, the simple interest for two years is 180 plus 180 which is 360. So simple interest is 360 time is two years but we do not know what is the value of R. So if we know R we can easily calculate the principal. So first let's find out the rate of interest. Now here as you can see the simple interest for the second year is 180. The compound interest for the second year is 196.20. The uh, difference between these two is 196.20 minus 180 which is rupees 16.20. Now this difference of rupees 16.20 is because while calculating compound interest for the second year uh, interest is calculated on the first year's interest also. So the difference of rupees 16.20 is the interest on rupees 180. Now we have to calculate the rate of interest and rate of interest is calculated for rupees 100. So if the interest on rupees 180 is rupees 16.20 then the interest on rupees 100 would be 100 multiplied by 16.20 divided by 180. On solving this we get the rate of interest as 9%. Now we know uh, the simple interest for two years is 360, uh, time is two years and rate of interest is 9%. Substituting all these values in the formula here, we get P is equal to 100 multiplied by 360 divided by 9 multiplied by 2. On solving this equation, we get the principal as rupees 2000. So the correct answer is option C, 2000. Let's now solve a few miscellaneous problems involving both simple interest and compound interest. The simple interest and compound interest which is compounded annually on a certain sum of money with a given rate for a period of two years are rupees 900 and rupees 954 respectively. Find the sum of money. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here in this problem we are asked to find the sum of money that is we are asked to find the principal. Now this problem can be solved by two methods. Let's look at the first method. Now we are asked to find the principal. And the formula to find the principal is P is equal to 100 multiplied by SI divided by RT. Now it's given that uh, simple interest is rupees 900. Time is two years, but we do not know what is the rate of interest. So first let's find out the what is the rate of interest. If you know the rate of interest, then we can easily calculate the uh, principle using this formula. Now rate of interest can be found out using the formula SI divided by CI is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus R. Now it's given uh, in the problem that uh, SI is 
rupees 900 ci is rupees 954 so substituting these values in the formula here we get 900 divided by 954 is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus r on solving this equation we get r is equal to 12 that is rate of percent is 12 percent so now we know that rate of interest is 12 percent simple interest is rupees 900 and time is two years now substituting all these values in the formula here we get p is equal to 900 multiplied by 100 divided by 12 multiplied by 2 on solving this we get p is equal to 3750 that is the sum of money is rupees 3750 now let's solve the problem by the second method so here we are asked to find the sum of money that is we are asked to find the principal now the formula to find the principal is p is equal to 100 multiplied by si divided by rt now it's given in the problem that si is rupees 900 and time is two years but we do not know the value of r so if we find out the value of r then we can easily find out the value of principal using this um, formula so first now let's find out the value of r now since time is given as two years let's make two columns for first year and second year now simple interest is given as rupees 900 for two years now we know that simple interest is the same for every year so if simple interest for two years is rupees 900 then it means that simple interest for the first year is rupees 450 simple interest for the second year is also 450 as you can see 450 plus 450 is rupees 900 which is the simple interest for two years now we know that uh, for the first year uh, simple interest and compound interest are the same so if simple interest for the first year is rupees 450 then compound interest for the first year is also rupees 450 now it's given that the compound interest for two years is rupees 954 so if the compound interest for first year is rupees 450 then the compound interest for the second year would be 954 minus 450 which is 504 so now we know that simple interest for the second year is 450 compound interest for the second year is 504 now this uh, difference in the interest is uh, equal to 504 minus uh, 450 which is rupees 54 now this difference of rupees 54 is because uh, while calculating compound interest the interest on the first year's interest is also added so while calculating compound interest for the second year the interest on the first year's interest is also added so we get a difference here between the interest of between simple interest and compound interest for the second year so this difference of rupees 54 is nothing but the interest on rupees 450 now here we are asked to find now here we have to find the rate of interest now we know that rate of interest is calculated for rupees 100 so if the uh, interest on rupees 450 is rupees 54 then the interest on rupees 100 would be 100 multiplied by 54 divided by 450 on solving this we get r is equal to uh, 12 percent now we know that the rate of interest is 12 percent simple interest is given as rupees 900 and time is given as two years substituting all these values in the formula here we get p is equal to 900 multiplied by 100 divided by 12 multiplied by 2 on solving this we get principal as rupees 3750 
that is the sum of money is 3750 the correct answer is option a 3750 a sum becomes rupees 2916 in two years at 8% per annum compound interest what will the simple interest at 9% per annum for three years on the same sum be here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here you are asked to find the simple interest for the same sum but we do not know what is the sum that is we do not know what is the principle so first let's find out the principal and then we can calculate the simple interest now principal can be found out using either the formula method or the ratio method so let's find the principal using the formula method first so it's given here that amount is equal to rupees 2916 time is two years and rate of interest is eight percent per annum compound interest now since nothing is mentioned in the problem we have to assume that interest is compounded annually now when interest is compounded annually the formula to find amount is a is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus r by 100 the whole raised to the power n now substituting all these values in the formula here we get 2916 is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus 8 by 100 the whole raised to the power 2 now 8 by 100 is nothing but 2 by 25 so 25 multiplied by 1 is 25 plus 2 is uh, 27 so now we have 27 by 2 the whole squared here so now we have 2916 is equal to p multiplied by 27 by 25 multiplied by 27 by 25 on solving this equation we get principal as rupees 2500 now let's find the principal using the ratio method so here it's given that amount is rupees 2916 time is two years and rate of interest is eight percent per annum compound interest now the first thing that has to be done in the uh, ratio method is to convert the rate of interest which is given in the percent form to its fractional form so eight percent is nothing but eight divided by hundred which on simplification gives us two by twenty five now here the denominator 25 is the principal the numerator 2 is the interest now since amount is equal to principal plus interest the amount here would be 25 plus 2 that is 27 so principal is 25 and amount is 27 for the ratio method now since time is given as two years the next thing that has to be done in the uh, ratio method is to find the ratio of principal to amount now since time is given as two years we have to find principal is to amount for the first year and for the second year now since rate of interest is the same for both the years uh, we have principal is to amount for the first year as 25 is to 27 and principal is to amount for the second year also as 25 is to 27 the next thing that has to be done is to multiply the principles of both the years so 25 multiplied by 25 is 625 next multiply the amounts of the two years so 27 multiplied by 27 is 729 so after two years principal is to amount is 625 is to 729 this means after two years if amount is 729 then principal is 625 but amount is given as rupees 2916 so we have to find the corresponding principal for this amount now 729 multiplied by 4 is 2916 which is the given amount 
Similarly, if we multiply 625 with 4, we get 2500, which is the required principal. So now we know that the principal is rupees 2500. Let's now calculate the simple interest. Now it's given that rate of interest is 9% per annum simple interest. Time is 3 years and we have found out that the principal is rupees 2500. And we have to find out simple interest. Now simple interest can be found out using the formula SI is equal to PRT divided by 100. Now substituting all these values in the formula here we get SI is equal to 2500 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 3 divided by 100. On solving this we get the simple interest as rupees 675. So the correct answer is option D rupees 675. A man borrowed some money from a private organization at 5% simple interest per annum. He lent this money to another person at 10% compound interest per annum and made a profit of rupees 26,410 in 4 years. How much money was borrowed? Here you are given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find how much money was borrowed. That is you have to find the principal. Now here it's given that the man borrowed uh, some principal at simple interest and then he lent this principal to another person at compound interest and made a profit of rupees 26,410 in 4 years. Now this profit of uh, 26,410 is because of the difference in compound interest and uh, simple interest. But here since we do not know what is the compound interest and simple interest, first let's find out what is the uh, compound interest and simple interest and then we can find the principal. Now since we do not know what is the principal, let's assume that the principal is P. Now in the first case, uh, principal is P, time is 4 years and rate of interest is given as 5% per annum simple interest and we have to calculate simple interest. Simple interest can be calculated using the formula SI is equal to PRT divided by 100. Substituting all these values in the formula here, we have simple interest is equal to P multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 100. On solving this equation, we get simple interest is equal to P divided by 5. Now in the second case, the principle is the same, that is P. Time is also the same, 4 years. Rate of interest is 10% per annum compound interest. And we are asked to find the compound and we have to find the compound interest here. Now since nothing is mentioned in the problem, we have to assume that uh, interest is compounded annually. Now if interest is compounded annually, the formula to find amount is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N. Now substituting all these values in the formula here, we get A is equal to P multiplied by A equals A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus uh, 10 by 100 raised to the power 10 uh, raised to the power 4. Now 10 by 100 is nothing but 1 by 10. 10 multiplied by 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So we have 11 by 10 raised to the power 4 here. So now we have A is equal to P multiplied by 11 by 10 the whole raised to the power 4. Now 11 raised to the power 4 is 14,641. 10 raised to the power 4 is 10,000. So now we have A is equal to 14,641P divided by 10,000. Now since compound interest is equal to amount minus principal, we have compound interest is equal to 14,641P divided by 10,000 minus P. On solving this, we get the compound interest as uh, 4,000 
641p divided by 10,000. Now, according to the question, um, the man made a profit of rupees 26,410 in four years. Now, this profit is nothing but the difference uh, between the compound interest and the simple interest. Now, compound interest is always more than the simple interest. Now, here we know that we have found out that compound interest is 4,641p divided by 10,000. And simple interest is P divided by 5. So, according to the question, 4,641p divided by 10,000 minus p divided by 5 is equal to 26410 on solving this we get p is equal to 1 lakh that is the principal is uh, 1 lakh that is the money that is borrowed that was borrowed is rupees 1 lakh so the correct answer is option a rupees 1 lakh There is a 40% increase in an amount in 8 years at simple interest. What will be the compound interest in rupees of rupees 30,000 after 2 years at the same rate? Here you are given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find what is the compound interest at the same rate. But here we do not know what is the rate. So first we'll find out the rate of interest using this uh, case one and then we'll find out the compound interest. Now it's given that there is a 40% increase in an amount. This means that if principal is rupees 100 then it becomes 140. That is if principal is rupees 100 then interest is rupees 40. Now in case one it's given that uh, there is a 40% increase in an amount in 8 years at simple interest. So if principal is rupees 100, simple interest is rupees 40 and time is 8 years. And we, But we do not know what is the rate of interest. Now rate of interest uh, can be calculated using the formula R is equal to 100 multiplied by SI divided by PT. Now substituting all these values in the formula here we get R is equal to 100 uh, multiplied by uh, 40 divided by uh, 100 multiplied by 8. On solving this we get R is equal to 5 that is rate of interest is 5% per annum. Now here it's given that uh, we have to find the compound interest on rupees 30,000 uh, after two years at the same rate. That is, now we have found out that the rate of interest is 5% per annum. So we have to calculate compound interest at the same rate, that is 5% per annum. So in the second case, principal is given as rupees 30,000. Time is two years. Rate of interest is 5% per annum and we have to calculate the compound interest. Now, since nothing is mentioned in the problem, we have to assume that interest is compounded annually. When interest is compounded annually, the formula to find amount is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R by 100, the whole raised to the power N. Now, substituting all these values in the formula here, we get A is equal to 30,000 multiplied by 1 plus 5 by 100 the whole raised to the power 2. 5 by 100 is nothing but 1 by 20. So 20 multiplied by 1 is 20 plus 1 is 21. So we have 21 by 20 the whole squared here. So what we have here is A is equal to 30,000 multiplied by 21 by 20 the whole squared. That is A is equal to 30,000 multiplied by 21 by 20 multiplied by 21 by 20. On solving this equation, we get A is equal to rupees 33,075. We know that compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So compound interest is equal to 33,075 minus 30,000. 
that is rupees 3075 that is compound interest is rupees 3075 the correct answer is option a 3075 a simple interest on a certain sum of money for 3 years at 8% per annum is half the compound interest on rupees 4000 for 2 years at 10% per annum find the sum placed on simple interest here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here we are asked to find the sum placed on simple interest now according to the question simple interest is half the compound interest but here we do not know what is the compound interest or the simple interest so first let's find out the compound interest and then half of that compound interest will be the simple interest and using that let's find out the sum placed on simple interest so here it is given that uh, principal is rupees 4000 rate of interest is 10% and time is 2 years and we have to calculate the compound interest now since nothing is mentioned in the question we have to assume that interest is compounded annually now when interest is compounded annually the formula to find amount is a is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus r by 100 the whole raised to the power n now substituting all these values in the formula here we get a is equal to 4000 multiplied by 1 plus 10 by 100 the whole raised to the power 2 now 10 by 100 is nothing but 1 by 10 so 10 multiplied by 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11 so we have 11 by 10 the whole squared here so now we have a is equal to 4000 multiplied by 11 by 10 multiplied by 11 by 10 on solving this equation we get a is equal to rupees 4840 now we know that compound interest is equal to amount minus principal so compound interest is equal to 4840 minus 4000 which is rupees 840 now it's given that the simple interest is half of the compound interest now we have found out that compound interest is rupees 840 so half of rupees 840 is rupees 420 so simple interest is rupees 420 now here it's given that a rate of interest is 8% per annum and time is 3 years and now we know that simple interest is rupees 420 so let's calculate the principal now principal can be Uh, found out using the formula p is equal to 100 multiplied by simple interest divided by r into t now substituting all these values in the formula here we get p is equal to 100 multiplied by 420 divided by 8 multiplied by 3 on solving this we get the principal as rupees 1750 so the correct answer is option c rupees 1750 viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly please do watch a video on compound interest for solved problems on difference in compound interest and simple interest if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you